Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative, and today we're taking a look at Malin Getz's SPF 30 Lip Balm. Now, in camera, this looks almost dark orange to brown, but in real life, this is a glowing, and I mean really glowing, like, orange. It is like in your face, white on orange. It just cannot capture this in camera. Maybe you can once it's on YouTube, but this display here does not show it in its true sense. But we just covered the original blue label, non-SPF version of their lip balm, and it's a very viscous product. I really have to show you this because this is a comparison. And if you've been using this for a time, you can see here, look, see that viscous? That's usually all you need. And like, you're set. But it's very hydrating, it's really good, and this product really caught me off guard. I was like, okay, they're gonna put an SPF in a lip balm, how is it gonna look? This is a white liquid, and I'm like, that's really odd. It makes sense because it's sunscreen, but your lips are not skin, and because this kind of white on skin, at least <clears throat> on the tone of skin that I am, I never really had too much trouble, even with mineral sunscreens, which, is this a mineral? Active ingredients, titanium dioxide. That's it? No, there's no way that's it. That's all it says. I wish, wait, right, broad spectrum mineral sunscreen. Okay, it's a mineral, so you know mineral may cast white on some people's skin no matter how dark or light you are. Some people kind of want to go away from that. And the first time I put this on my lips, I saw the white. My lips are a darker shade than I am. And most people's lips are, just in general. Let's take a look and see how this goes, because I usually use the tiniest bit, the smallest bit that I possibly can. I apply it to my bottom lip and it kind of, now this is what I was talking about. You see on the inside, it has like this white cast and in the crease, it has that too. I'm doing exactly what I used to do with um, this normal non-SPF version here. You can see it's still in the crease. Let me clean things up here, just as I would normally. I always go like this to remove excess, and it is casting white. Look at that. I know not everybody purses their lips, but this is something where you kind of want it to sink in, and also mineral sunscreen by the mouth. I'm sure they've done their research on this, I just, in terms of like the other, let me see, the other sunscreen that I've used, lip screen for lips with SPF have been Baxter and they have kind of like, again, they have SPF 30, but they are don't cast white. And then it's Super Goop where they have two flavors and I believe it's, is it 15 or 30? And again, it doesn't cast white. Um, it's more of like a gel, a thicker gel than this, but a gel. This is the first one that's kind of just casting white. And I'm trying not to rub this away, but I'm trying to talk because this is kind of like the natural movement that will allow it to kind of disperse and hopefully go away because you don't want to wipe this away. That first is bad for the hydration of your lips and then also you're wiping away the sunscreen because mineral sunscreen is made to sit on top of the skin. It's not made to go inside. So I'm a little bit concerned about what this looks like. All right, let's see again. You can see it's casting, casting white on the inside. To be a functional product, it has to seamlessly integrate with you on how you would use probably the original product. I would say this is a drastic difference because of it being a mineral sunscreen. Again, they do have a mineral version of this for the body, but again, body mineral is different from this. And again, my skin complexion here is showing this a little bit darker. 
Okay, I'm not always gonna be pursing my lips, but can you see, and please put this in the comment section below, after I've put this on, what does it look like? As I'm here now, maybe I'm kidding myself, but I feel like my lips are a little bit pinker than they were before. Again, pursing your lips and licking your lips is gonna kind of remove the effect, especially for a sunscreen. Again, it's a mineral sunscreen. This may be some, like I am not somebody in the uh, facial industry, facial product industry. Is making this a mineral product the right call? Again, put that in the comment section below. I mean, it's kind of going away. I'd like to see if other people in the street, if I ask them, do you think I just put a mineral sunscreen on if they'd say anything? But guys, I've been trying this out for the first time. This is Malin Getz's SPF 30 lip balm. Um, with the original, this one came in mojito flavor or unflavored. This one does not have a flavor. It's just kind of there. That's just kind of how it is. But guys, put everything in the comments section below. Don't forget I'm on Instagram at mhb9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.